Cowboy Bebop was a pretty unique show, a jazzy 1998 anime by following the lives of the crew of the Bebop, a batch of two, later five, space bounty hunters and their misadventures. But the secret is that Cowboy Bebop held this perfect blend of music, storytelling, and characters that gave us Jupiter Jazz to Earthy Blues. So when the TRPG was announced, I was skeptical. The show was pretty self-contained, a live-action reboot being gracefully ignored, a setting, a situation, a feeling that served its purpose, and told the story to its suitable noir conclusion. And boy, oh boy, this game fucking sucks. It's shit. It's god up. Can this series catch a break? Okay, let me explain. The game came out in 2023, and it's by Mana Project Studios, though the truth of the matter is that Don't Panic Games, Mana Project, and an Italian company called Fumble GDR, which is frankly a bizarre series of rights fuckery, but Fumble GDR left, leaving Mana Project with the bag. So what is this shit show? It's a D6 dice pool system, with it being composed of sessions tabs values of 1, 2, or 3, each trait chosen, and one where we're working with a classic session, depending on what kind of session it is. If that sounds horrifying already, Ready? Don't worry, it gets fucking worse. What you're rolling for are hits and shocks. Hits are good things, while shocks are bad things. You can score up to two hits every roll, if you beat the tab's target number, and if you roll at least two sixes. Each shock is produced by rolling a one on the dice. Okay, simple enough, but here's an issue. There's no such thing as a full success in this game. You'll always have one shock the GM will always get, which you have to wound a trait, mark a bullet, which if your bullets are full, you'll have a super duper special section or you can just not do that at all then you spend them use them you can alter the difficulty on a check to make it easier or harder next time or do what the game is actually about ticking a clock the entire game is built around ticking clocks for each of the tabs to complete the special goal in mind for that particular tab of course you can do some riffs as well like add dice for a bullet rolling with disadvantage to actually remove your wounds Pushing to make your life worse for shocks, gambling to make things stupid, show off to break the game, or assist one another to get a fucking advantage. But everything is always going to be focused around ticking that fucking clock! And you're fighting with the GM over it as well, because a session is broken down into three individual tabs. Get every one of the stuff together, three, two, one, and let's jam. Each of which is an escalation for the session with a particular clock associated with it. Each of the tabs allows you to spend your good boy points differently and increase the difficulty exponentially. But again, clocks for each of them. The real competition between the characters are fighting over who can tick their clock the fastest. How do we determine the size? Well, you're winging it, of course. That's the main issue with the game right there. The entire game is built around ticking fucking clocks and nothing else. Can you get into gunfights? No, you tick the gunfight clock. Can you get into an investigation? No, you tick the investigate clock. But since the GM is always incentivized to tick their one, which of course you'll have by getting hit with a shock every roll, you're actually incredibly discouraged from just rolling the dice. Ever. It's actually the worst thing you can do, especially with larger dice pools, as you can just roll more shocks, which the GM can use to tick a clock now, force you to injure yourself, or store away for later, of course. To tick a clock later. Tick too many bullets on your quest of ticking clocks. Sorry, new type of session where you get to vent them all and feel sad. Remember when they said that line? Remember the filler episodes? Because Bebop actually, instead of adding new things to flesh out its mechanics, instead adds new session types that use the exact same terrible mechanic, sometimes in a reverse order, or sometimes just disregarding everything. Alright, so the characters have to be pretty interesting, right? Each character has a number of approaches, rock, dance, blues, tango, and jazz. But they are actually endure a thing, do a thing, be moody, influence people, or understand a thing. Do they matter, though? No, they fucking don't. They are irrelevant to the game. Your traits, though, are written in aspects of the characters that grant you dice. So let's play a quick game. Let's say I have the trait Hobo Cop. Where do you think it goes? Really think about it. You got it? Wrong. It goes fucking anywhere. The approach trait relationship is entirely player dependent and many aspects of the game are built around letting you just roll from another attribute. Costing something, of course. You may choose to have a 50 caliber handgun, but it'll do the exact same thing as having long hair. Add a d6 to a dice pool, which is vaguely correct to the roll. You'll have four of these traits to start with and very little else. So you have a characters who are vague and whose sole job is ticking clocks, a very linear set of options about ticking fucking clocks, and then you have your groove. What do these do? Well, these are your super special power that make you unique. One of 11 of them, which most of them are use X for Y checks. Ta-da, that's it, the entire game. 
The mind was some frankly bizarre writing trying to SEO cowboy fucking bebop into being a cyberpunk setting because that'll get some clicks and of course the sample campaign to explain the game is not a sample campaign, it's the entire series and you have some genuine disappointment from a game. I have no idea why they thought this was good in any metric. The prevailing theory is that it was a cyberpunk RPG that was just fucking lobotomized and forced to wear a horrible skin suit, a cowboy bebop, to satisfy its IP holder. This game fails on just about every front. My name is Notepad Anon, and this garbage heap was the Cowboy Bebop TRPG. If you like what I do here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Many thanks to the Red Dragon Associates as always, and of course, you're always going to carry that weight.